guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be my ensuite transformation. So we've recently transformed our ensuite into a beautiful, really lovely place to be actually. It is such a gorgeous room to walk into. It's obviously one of the smallest rooms in our house, but it is one of the most gorgeous rooms in our house. And as it's just me and my husband, that mainly use it, the boys do come in here sometimes and the girls like to have wander around. It's not too hard to keep too clean either. So this house was a new build house when we bought it nearly five years ago and the ensuite just didn't stand the test of time. There was carpet in here, the fittings and the shower tray and everything like that was pretty much falling apart. So it really needed redoing. So I designed it all and I put together a really beautiful ensuite and something I'm really proud of. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys the ins and outs. Everything that I used and that I bought will be linked below just for ease. So I'm going to do some before and after pictures now. So as you can see in the before pictures, the walls were white. It was semi-tiled, um, kind of minimal tiling was done in here as it is a new build that can be quite common but there wasn't kind of anything special about it and the shower was pretty much falling apart we couldn't actually use it um it had been leaking through so that all had to be fixed so yeah it needed redoing so i've transformed it into a beautiful workable which is of course really important when you're having an ensuite the room needs to work it needs to flow really lovely space in our home it's fresh it's modern but without being too kind of in your face and it's a really lovely calming space is the only room in the house where we used black my husband has always been really keen to use a darker color and i actually love the contrast in here so i'm really pleased that we did it we've gone for some contrasting patterns but again keeping within a similar color scheme and i feel like this room works really really well we've added some natural fabrics and materials because i love that look and i feel like it really softens the room and it's a really easy way just to add those final touches that will really soften and bring a room to life. So let's go into detail and talk through everything that I've done in here. The floor. Let's start off with the floor. This room is obviously really small, so there's going to be some funky angles. I'm going to add some pictures as well, just to give you a bit of a context as to what I'm talking about. But here is the floor. Now these tiles are from a place called Wix. But you can also get them from loads of other places and I got them for our renovation house in a similar style from Tile Mountain. I love Tile Mountain, a really really good place to get tiles but yeah these ones are from Wix. I went with these tiles on the floor because our wall tiles which are from Tile Mountain they're a matte marble so in our main bathroom I really wanted a marble look but we have four children and they had to be matte, they couldn't be glossy because it, it just wouldn't be safe. And I went for them on the floor as well. Now, they look gorgeous on the floor, but the white grout on the floor, one of those lessons that you learn and, and you won't make that mistake again. So in this room, I didn't want white grout on the floor and I didn't want a dark grout with the marble tiles. So the marble tiles work really well on the floor. It's the grout that's a problem. And I did feel like a dark grout would work. Um, with those tiles in this room. So that's why I've gone for a pattern tile and I've gone for a gray grout. Now, so far, so good. We could have even gone for a black grout and it'd still look lovely. So if we do have any grout issues, we can just regrout it in black. But that's one of my major tips. Go for a darker grout on the floor. Uh, as the tiles are patterned, you kind of don't really take much notice of what color the grout is, but it will just save you a cleaning headache in the future. So yeah, those are the floor tiles that we went for in here. Now I briefly mentioned that these wall tiles, so these are Carrera Marble Effect, not real marble, so that's a way you can really make a huge saving. Carrera Marble Effect wall and floor tiles from Tile Mountain. They are so cheap. I think they're something like $12.99 per square meter, but they look really, really good. They're easy to clean. Um, you kind of don't need to worry about the grout on the wall as much as the floor. So I like it with white grout on the wall. And we didn't tile the whole of this room. We've tiled the shower area, and then we have tiled halfway 
around this room and painted the top black. I really love the colour contrast and I love the way it feels. So we've gone for a pretty standard square style toilet and it does have an electric flush, which was my husband's idea. He loves that kind of stuff. So we went with it. We then have that wooden bath mat, which is one of those natural um, material products I wanted to bring into this room just to give it a lovely soft finish. It's actually from Ikea. Made.com also do a lovely one, but that one is from Ikea and I love the way it kind of finishes off the room and adds some natural materials in here. If I just kept this room black and white, it'd probably been a bit, bit boring and a bit monotone, so I wanted to add some different colours and more importantly, some different textures in here. So we went for a pretty basic white shower tray, but to make it a bit different, we've gone for a black shower waist. Now I'm really loving the black bathroom accessory look. So we've also gone for a black shower and a black squared glass shower door. And at the top, you can see it's got like a fancy frame around it and there is the black shower. Now everyone asks about black shower fittings. Are they easy to clean? In my honest opinion, they're really not that bad. All you need is some Viacal, um, some lime scar remover, and honestly, it, it works fine. So don't be scared by that. It really isn't that bad at all. So keeping within the black bathroom accessory theme, we have a black towel radiator, a really, really lovely addition. I've then put some muted rose pink towels, which are from H&M. And if we move the camera up, you will see our black wall and we have a marble shelf with a fake Ikea plant. I didn't want to put a real plant there because I wasn't sure if it was going to survive, but actually I think it would survive fine. So I might swap that for a real plant. So as you can see, the bathroom is half tiled and half painted black. So all around there, all around the sink. And then as you get to the window, we carry on with a black and tiled theme. This vanity unit is from Victoria Plum. Vanity units are really hard to get right, um, especially if you're on a budget because they can be very pricey. I'm desperate to try out the IKEA vanity units, but you couldn't go to IKEA at the moment. So I went for a Victoria Plum one. I really like the way it looks and I was kind of unsure as it's gray, it's not black and I really want to stick to the black and white, but actually if you look at the floor tiles and if you look at the marble tiles, there is quite a lot of grey in there. So that actually brings the room together really, really nicely and it also has storage, which is a must. So we have a natural basket, which is actually where my bin lives. So I was looking for ages to find a nice bathroom bin and I just couldn't find one. So I saw those baskets in HomeSense and thought they'd be the perfect size for just a standard white Ikea bin. So my bin lives in there, it's hidden and it also looks really lovely. So a double win. So we put a black tap on the vanity unit and we also have a few little accessories there. Keeping within the black and natural material theme, we also have some dark rose flannels and an Elemis cleanser. Then moving up, we have this Ikea round mirror. Now Ikea is just the best place to get bathroom mirrors from. They do so many different ones. And this one I believe was 45 pounds. I literally couldn't find it cheaper anywhere else. Jordan wanted a light up mirror, but they do come in at around 300 pounds. And we have one in the main bathroom and I really can see their benefit. But you also have to sort out all the electrics and stuff. So I just thought for ease, we'd get a non light up one in here. And I really like the way it looks. Now it's always hard to film window areas because it's completely backlit. But I have just a simple geometric vase with some pampas grass in there. Again, bringing in the natural materials and textures into this room we have a rattan and black basket where I put all my little accessories and I also went for a natural wood blind and I really like the way that wood can add to a room so we've added a light wooden blind. So I wanted to show you our windowsill and what we've done on top of the toilet boxing. So as you can see here these are marble effect tiles which we got from Tile Mountain but to add that little bit of luxury in this room, we have put on a real quartz top. So we've got real quartz here and real quartz here. Now, just by using really small areas 
of luxury materials, it can still give your bathroom that luxury finish. So quartz is a really beautiful material and it's a little bit more hard wearing and easier to have than marble. It looks completely gorgeous and just finishes off the room in here perfectly. Let me know if you'd like a video on how to actually plan for a bathroom redesign. When I was redoing my main one, I was so nervous. I'd never done it before. I had no idea where to start and I kind of knew that I didn't want to go down the kind of mainstream route where you kind of go to somewhere and they only have certain kind of fittings and you have to go with that. I found it much better actually to do it all myself and get pieces from places that I wanted and you can mix and match. And yeah, I really enjoyed the experience. I'm also helping my neighbor do hers. So I've done a few. We've also done the renovation one. So I've done a few now in the past year. So let me know if you'd like a video talking about how you can actually plan and do it yourself. Obviously we had it fitted by someone that knew what they were doing, but um, the fact that I could get it all myself before that, I feel really benefited me. When you do it and plan it yourself, you can really stick to a budget, such as a 40 pound Ikea mirror, tiles at a 12.99 square meter, towels from H&M, you know, all those little things that you can do that can add up if you go somewhere else. Now, don't get me wrong, some of the things in here do add up, such as black fittings and black waste is more expensive than a standard silver or chrome fittings, but I wanted the black look. So I compromised in some places so I could have that. We've gone for a marble effect tile on the wall, so not real marble, but we then went for a real material on the windowsill and on top of the toilet, and that just adds a real luxury effect to the room. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you soon.